Good morning. Another coffee montage. Okay, guys. Ooh, the sun is all over the place. It is now time to head out. I actually, I'm not even wearing my watch. I really need to go. I just had to film a little clip for my what I spend in a week vlog. And if you haven't seen that, you should definitely go watch that. But yes, today is Saturday. This is a weekend in my life in New York City. And it is so sunny as you can see and pretty outside. And I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you my outfit. Where's my sunglasses? I'm going to meet my friends, Cheryl and Sarah at the Plaza Hotel, which I've actually never been to, I don't think. But it's a pretty iconic New York spot. We're just meeting there and then we're gonna walk around Central Park a little bit because it's so pretty out and that's a, a staple New York weekend activity, especially in the fall before the leaves are gone. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go check out the Nordstrom NYC that just opened. It's their big flagship that has seven restaurants and is huge. My mom actually texted me about it. That's how I learned at Paula. Thanks for the um, news. And I'm sure my mom will be happy to see me going there. And I'm very happy to be going there. Okay, I was kind of back and forth on this outfit and I might be a little cold, um, but once we're in Nordstrom or wherever we end up, it'll be okay indoors. But I'm wearing this maxi skirt that I got from Lulu's. I'm a big fan of it. It has buttons all the way down, but I just buttoned it about like halfway. So a little bit of a leg pop. Oh, oh, and I'm just wearing my tennis shoes with it because we might be doing walking and I just frankly don't care because you can't really see my shoes much. I'm wearing a very plain white. It's kind of like a three quarter length sleeve. So a little bit of warmth. That's just from Costco. It's old. And then this Just Fab leather jacket. I wish it was more cropped like a waist one for this skirt situation, but oh well, the skirt has pockets, so that's fun. The hair is half up, greasy, nice, and my sunglasses are from H&M. We're in the plaza and they have an Eloise store. Oh my God, the pink. Me in the fifth, or no, when I was five, I would have died. Like all this pink to have this room. <laughs> Wait, do kids tonight. these days still like yes. watch Eloise? Okay. For sure. New York kids at least. Ah. Yum. 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 Okay, we are in the plaza. And look at this beautiful entrance. We're trying to find the lobby. Oh, she's everywhere. Eloise is just like a spiritual presence. <laughs> Wait, this isn't even the lobby. <laughs> How do we get there? Update, that was not a fiddle. <laughs> we made it to the giant Nordstrom. So this is part of the big one, right? Or is it that whole block? That whole block is the real store. Okay. And, and this, this is... This is like, look, is the bar is there. And then they have like beauty stuff. I think this is like the beauty haven thing. Oh. Uh, seven floors. We just walked in, in the beauty area. Oh my God. Why? <laughs> Find a lip color. This is designed for tall people. <laughs> Wait, that's insane. It's actually really smart. That's not it, sis. <laughs> this is so over the top and insane. This is like an experience. I'm overwhelmed. Also this view. Amazing. This is everything. It looks so sleek too, like the black. <laughs> this is wild. It looks like a painting. Foliage. <laughs> We're at Rockefeller Center where the ice skating rink is. And this girl is just going for it. She like definitely did competitive skating in her past life. Do like a flip. Do a double helix. Oh, this kid just <laughs> Children singing, all is merry and bright. It is literally Christmas here in Five Below. It's not November 1st yet. <laughs> I want to get Christmas pajamas to wear. I'm going to a Halloween brunch tomorrow and she said to wear costumes. So I'm going to wear like a Christmas costume, like pajamas as my costume. I've never been to Five Below, <laughs> but Cheryl said it's like a thing here. So. Is it just pizza? No. Oh, no, no, I oh, see. You put it like over your head. Oh. That is a very treat. easy gosh. <laughs> we made it. With our Christmas pajamas in tow. <laughs> Singing and talking are not permitted during the performance. Oh, that's just <laughs> sad. <laughs> wow. We'd Amazing. The best wine sippy cup I've ever got. <laughs> It was, it was so, so cute. cute. They had 
snow at the end. Yes. Which I think I got a clip of. And um, yeah. the little girl that played Anna was the cutest child I wanted I've ever to seen my be life. her. I was like, who <laughs> trained you? Can they train me? Good morning, Baltimore. <laughs> I'm mean, just saying that because I went to a Broadway show last night. But look at the beautiful light coming in from outside. It is 7 a.m. I just woke up on my own at like 6.45 because it's daylight savings. And I completely forgot, which is the best surprise in the entire world. And I have so much energy and I didn't even get to sleep until like 1 or something last night. So it's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm going to go get ready for the gym and go get a morning workout in before I get ready for the day. Because I'm going to a little Halloween brunch um, kickback fun thing at my friend Michelle's apartment today, later in the afternoon. Okay, it is 8 a.m. now. I'm headed out. I'm wearing camo, fabletics, leggings with my flat training shoes so I can do leg day and Gymshark long sleeve dark top with this little puffer that I got at H&M last year. And I'm ready. I haven't done a morning workout like this. I mean, besides when I went to SoulCycle before work in a long time. So I'm excited. just left the gym and the marathon is happening right here and it smells like hot dogs <laughs> Okay, now I have to go pick up a FedEx package that was dropped at a like Dwayne Reed pickup spot that I meant to get the other day, but I didn't have time. So it'll be fun to unbox it with you guys if they have it. Secured the package. Okay, I'm home, I'm showered, I started to do my makeup and I just was gonna reach for some coffee. I stopped at a little shop and picked up some coffee and oat milk and a couple things that I might try and go to Trader Joe's after the little brunch party thing. I just got a couple things that I wouldn't get there. So, sorry, it's on the front camera. I saw this one, I was gonna get the Starbucks one, but I saw that La Colombe has started selling like their bulk cold brew. So I got the Brazilian one. So I'm gonna try it right now with some oat milk and then I'm gonna make some avocado toast. This is the most millennial ass thing I'm showing you. Have that for a little food. It's almost noon now and yeah. And then the thing starts at one at Michelle's. So I'll probably head out in about 30 minutes once I just like finish my makeup and getting ready and such. And I'll show you my outfit that I got at five below yesterday. Why is lift and peel never that simple? <laughs> They should call this lift and struggle. My editor has seen me struggle to open so many things in these vlogs. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. I approve. I think I like that better than the Starbucks one that I usually get. Okay. I'm gonna make avocado toast and then get ready and then we'll go. Okay, I am ready. This is my costume. I got this pajama. It's not even a set. I just got them both at the Five Below store last night. I didn't show you guys when I picked them out, but this shirt, it was very fitting since I saw Frozen last night. Also, I most definitely intended to do an unboxing of these with you guys before I left, but I just don't have time. So maybe tonight when I get back, we will open them together. So okay, this is the beautiful charcuterie masterpiece of Michelle and Aline. Also, their apartment is so cute. Hopefully you can guess by just the <laughs> aesthetics, but we are Arthur and Buster from the television Adorable. show. Adorable. Yeah, the classic actually, childhood television show. Arthur. Arthur. And I say, hey, see this one? Fist. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the like John Legend, the one side by side where John Legend looks just like him? It's very genteel features. I <laughs> but also this, courtesy of Target. Chocolate pumpkin mousse. Pumpkin biscotti and chocolate mousse pumpkins. This is chocolate pecan pie bars, Trader Joe's. Amazing. Obviously, we've got hummus, carrots. This is a spinach dip thing. Um, and then a manchego, gouda, brie, a goat. Those are like my three favorite yeah. things. <laughs> Yeah, and a goat's log. She cries. <laughs> some caramel and apple slices. And these are sweet potato chip cracker things. Just some social crackers. Or I think they're called social snackers, actually. <laughs> Thank you for the technical <laughs> term. Yeah, so in case you want to pick some up. Pita chips and apple cider. Hell yeah. Squirrel napkins. 
Oh my god, that is amazing. Where are those from? Target? Um, our mother brought these. Oh. Like, use napkins and she just used paper towels. Oh yeah, I do the I same. That, like, outraging. And so every single time she visits, she brings napkins. I wonder if that's a generational thing. Yeah, I feel is. like, yeah, I my parents are like that too. article like two years ago about how millennials <laughs> are destroying uh, the napkin industry. <laughs> I swear there's a new article every week, something the millennials are destroying. We came up on their rooftop and look at these views. There's a literal castle, like around the corner, casual. And the sun breaks through the clouds. There's Manhattan over yonder. I drink to forget a disappointing birthday party. Oh, oh. fair. <laughs> Disappointing birthday party because of my past. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, I am walking to the subway now after leaving Michelle and Aline's, and it was so much fun hanging out with them. We just like laughed so much and talked for hours. We played a little Cards Against Humanity, and we went up on the rooftop. Ooh, we had some fall Halloween kind of snacks. Now I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. It's still a little light out. The sun's about to set, so figured it was now or never <laughs> because I've been pretty lazy about grocery shopping. So we're gonna do it. Then we're gonna go home, do some meal prepping. We really are here about to enter the battleground that is Trader Joe's on a Sunday evening. This is the line. It wraps all the way back there and starts, it goes back there around the entire store to here. <laughs> we out here really doing this. We got the goods. What's up? I'm back. It's only 6 p.m. But since it's dark out and it's been such a long day, like I've gotten so much done, it feels like weird and late, but I'm not complaining. I have the whole evening left to meal prep and get ready for the week and get to sleep early. So I got bread, gluten-free whole wheat. That doesn't make sense. It's gluten-free whole grain. <laughs> a bag of little avocados, green beans, sweet potato crackers. I got frozen brown rice. I got a pack of Altoids because I'm running out of my desk. Random things. And then I got a thing of sushi. I'll probably bring this for lunch tomorrow. It's smoked salmon Philly roll. So I know it has cream cheese in it. And I usually avoid cheese, but I've been eating it lately. And it's just one of those things where like my skin's bad. So I just need to cut it off and stop, but I'll, I'll get there. Maybe after this. <laughs> Butternut squash zigzags. I have a sweet potato left. So I think I'm going to cook those up with these and then have some, like a little carb dish for the meal prep. Ground turkey, of course, and balsamic chicken. So really just the basics this week and I saw the roll of stickers. I've never noticed them at Trader Joe's. And I was like, what are the stickers for? And the guy's like, for kids. And he's like, and for you if you want. And I was like, okay, I'll take one. And he gave me like this whole strip of them. How cute is that? I'm going to meal prep by putting my cooked chicken, cutting it up, microwaving some rice and um, green beans, cooking those. I actually have some YouTube work I need to do. I need to like catch up on emails and things that I've been putting off because I've been doing other things. I am not really like hungry for dinner because we were snacking pretty much on that gorgeous charcuterie and snack spread at Michelle and Aline's. Again, I feel like I said it, but they, the two of them have a YouTube channel and I'll link it down below if you guys wanna go. You, no, not if you want to, you have to, because they're amazing. Um, Go subscribe to them and watch other vlogs because they're great. There's the show behind me. I've had Frozen songs stuck in my head for like 24 hours now. This box I ordered from Adidas. I really don't buy shoes that often. I buy clothes here and there, um, but I hardly ever My Adidas NMDs that I've had for over a year and wear like a lot, a lot, like worn them in a lot. The sole's like wearing down and they've just gotten pretty gross. So I decided to get another pair and I initially wanted all white ones. And the ones that I got were like a little off-white and coral. Um, so I thought that they came out with all white ones, so I ordered them. Ta -da! Oh, oh, they look small. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, it's a men's size five, women's size six, but I swear I'm normally a seven and I swear I sized down a whole size in my other NMDs. I guess we'll try them on and see, but these are the all white Adidas NMDs. They probably look a little pink or purple in this light. I'm sorry, but it's nighttime. So this is as good as it's gonna get. I think they're gonna look so cute with all my gym outfits. And I definitely want to try and take really, really good care of these. And I might do the thing where I just keep them in my bag and try not to wear them on the street, at least in the beginning. And then I'll cave and wear them in the street and then they'll be messy and I'll have to clean them. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I know that these are a bitch to break in, especially the back of the heel. I remember my heels were raw for like weeks when I first got my first pair. I'm gonna try them on right now. 
and see if they even fit on my feet because they look tiny. Oh no, they fit perfectly. Hell yeah. The back isn't even like rubbing my heel that much, but again, I've been in them for two seconds. I'm very happy about this purchase. I've been definitely wanting new workout shoes. Okay, here's what they look like. So cute, all white, ignore the socks popping up, but um, I think they're adorable and they fit me perfectly. So definitely size down, big fan, especially with the Christmas pants. <laughs> All right, folks, we've reached the end of the road of the vlog. I'm saying goodbye here and uploading the footage to the interwebs. I'm very happy with this weekend. Honestly, it was a great weekend. I had so much fun. I did a lot of random stuff. I hope you enjoyed, you know, traipsing around Central Park and seeing the new Nordstrom with me yesterday. Going to the gym, waking up early till the birds singing on daylight savings. Going to the Halloween shindig at Michelle and Aline's place. So love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this weekend in my life. Subscribe if you're not already to see all my upcoming vlogs, my weeks in my life, the weekends, the other ones I throw in there. I don't know. If you haven't seen my what I spend in a week video yet, definitely go check that out. That was a really fun one I did this past week. And um, you can see how much money I spend. I was gonna do what I spend in a weekend, but I think I wanna break it up so it's not back to back. So I'll do that maybe next weekend. If you guys wanna give this a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, whatever. I'll see you very soon with a new vlog. Bye.